Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm David Bird with Reality Reimagine. I'm an award-winning photographer and Photoshop artist that specializes in fantasy composite art. And when I create that artwork, it's usually the result of many hours in Photoshop, various techniques and stock images that all combine into the final results that I share on social media and with the world. When I share that artwork, I often get the request, can I see the original image? And I have always been against that. I'm not worried that folks will try to reverse engineer my work and steal all of my Photoshop secrets because it's all of my Photoshop gold and you can't have it unless you answer this riddle. No, I'm not worried about that because I teach Photoshop at photography conferences here on YouTube and I am happy to share my 20 years of knowledge with anyone that genuinely wants to learn and improve their own art. I've been against sharing the elements that go into my final artwork because I truly feel like the magic of the art is lost when you know all of the ways that it was created. I fear that you will look at my work and not see it for what it is, but instead see it as this, well, that, that sky wasn't there, or that flaming sword that he's holding on to to fend me off from stealing his Photoshop gold, that wasn't there either. However, as I've followed my path of being an educator, I've come to accept and to trust that generally folks appreciate the work that much more when they can see all of the steps that went into its creation. So the problem is now how to share all of it on a social media post. It would be quite daunting to show you the final artwork and then a hundred other images and tell you, well, start with image number one and good luck. I hope you figure it all out. And that is where Composite Nation has yet again given us a tool that will forever change how we share our artwork. That new tool is called BreakGen. BreakGen is an exclusive extension for Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 and above, and it can create a presentation out of every single layer in your Photoshop document. Starting with the background layer, it will stack each additional layer into the presentation so the viewer can see a step-by-step -step breakdown of how your artwork was created. Let's take a look at the trailer for Break Gen from Composite Nation's channel here on YouTube to get a better understanding of what we're going to see in today's tutorial on my channel. Let's dive into Photoshop and create our first breakdown of a recent piece of gelled glamour artwork. To get started, let's make an introduction. First and foremost, this is my friend Danielle. She's an amazing model and a fantastic photographer. You can see more of her work by visiting the Instagram account at the link below. I'm also going to link the Instagram account for Composite Nation. They share the artwork of various artists across the world, mainly featuring the use of Oniric, which is the first plugin and extension that Composite Nation made for Photoshop. Oniric is a non-destructive way of creating glows and light streaks into images. It is heavily heavily used in this piece that you see on the screen. I absolutely love using Oniric. It has single-handedly changed my artwork forever. So if you'd like to learn more about Oniric, you can see some videos on my channel explaining how it's used by looking at the card above when you're done with this one. And then the final Instagram account that I'm going to link is the Reality Imagine Instagram account, my Instagram account, where I share my artwork on the regular basis. So make sure to give all three of those accounts a follow so that you can be inspired by the artwork that you see there and potentially learn more about Oniric. I cannot recommend it enough. So Let's start by talking about the photography and what went into the process of creating this final image. We'll take a look at the original image itself and let's talk about the lighting that you see into this. I'm using three Godox AD600 strobes. There are two on either side of the model. They're using 12 by 55 inch strip boxes with purple gels inside. The third light is boomed above her that has a 33 inch beauty dish on it with the blue gel. So with all three of those lights and that color palette, this is the image that I created out of the photography itself. Now, in this document, 
All of these layers correspond to the retouch. These layers use frequency separation, dodging and burning, and then enhancements to the eyes. If you're not familiar with that retouching process and would like to learn more about that, you can also go to the retouching series by looking at the card above on the channel that will explain to you all of those techniques of retouching. And one of the videos actually provides you a free action that I use on the regular to create all of my artwork for retouching. So make sure to check out that series when you're done with this video itself. So once that part of the retouch is done. Then I will take this top layer that you see here in the layer stack and I will output it to a new document so that I can save this one if I need to go back at any point to reference this image for any other project. And then in this document, this is where I begin to create the composite. I go through the process of using the quick selection tool, the refine edge and cleaning up the layer mask by hand to get the perfect selection of Danielle, which we see here. Then I went to Adobe Stock and purchased this piece of stock image. Now it's, it's a cyberpunk inspired uh, fantasy image. I went ahead and gave it a little bit of a blur so we would have a shallow depth of field to give a hint of that realism that Danielle is our focus point from the camera and that the ground around her is in focus in the stock image and then it gradually falls off out of focus so that it would create a further step of that realism. And then the other layers that you see through here at the top of the layer stack and some through here, these are the layers that Oniric produced as I ran it through that plugin and extension. So what I'm going to do is turn out this layer of Danielle and I'm going to turn on this blank layer here that's filled with black so that ultimately what we can see are all of these layers through here all of this color and glow this is what Oniric produced and as I work with them in the layer stack or work with layer masks that you can see here on the different layers from Oniric I'm able to produce this piece of artwork and then from there, I create one composite layer of everything, and I move that to a new document, which is this one. And then I save this one. So again, I have a living document. If I need to go back to reference it, if I need to make corrections or utilize it for something else, I have that living document. And then this third image, this is the one that I do the final artistic enhancement to, utilizing my own uh, actions that I've created in Photoshop. Uh, that is my artistic style that I put on top of the image itself. So. All of this, as you can see, it would be very difficult for me to show all of that to somebody and to say, yes, let's let's look at frequency separation. Let's look at the extraction. Let's look at the Oniric and all the stuff. And that's why I'm so excited to start using BreakGen because I can create a document that puts all of the relevant layers into it and then lets BreakGen create that presentation for the audiences that will look at this. So. I've made this new document here that again has all of the relevant layers that went into the process. It starts with the original image of Danielle that we just saw and then moves through the process of putting in all the steps of the, the background stock and the layers of Oniric and puts it all together so that when BreakGen creates that presentation, it will start with the original image and go all the way through. So I'm going to click here for this icon for BreakGen and it will open up the dialog. And let's do a brief explanation of what it is. Starting at the top, breakdown animation name. We're going to call this Cyberpunk 2020. The next section is to set the speed. The first part is delay time between frames. That means how much time is going to uh, delay in between each layer that's turned on in the final presentation. So by default, it's set to 0.5 or half of a second. I'm going to change it to one second because in this uh, presentation, there aren't that many layers that I've coupled together that can give the viewer an overall feel of what went into creating this. So I think one second so that the audience can kind of land on each one of them is good. The last frame delay time that we see here, that's the final layer here, which is an output layer of the final artwork that I showed to you. So this means how long will we stay on this in the presentation? It's set to default for three seconds. I'm going to change it to five seconds so it just stays there on that one. The next section is the output format size. Now you have two options on how you can create this presentation. The bottom one is to create essentially an MP4 or a movie. And then you can uh, use the H.264 uh, codec for it, and then you can change the resolution on it. Its default is 1920, which is basic HD. The other way to create the presentation is a GIF. And that's how it's pronounced, GIF. It's not the stepbrother to the peanut butter, it's GIF. GIF, that's how we're gonna call it 
forever because that's how I call it and that's the way I want to call it. It's a GIF. So we can check the box for GIF and then we can set the resolution on the longest side of the piece. So right now by default, it's 1400. I'm going to change it to 2048 pixels because if I were to upload this to you or to Facebook, Facebook's basic recommendations for any kind of image or presentation is on the longest side of it to be 2048 pixels. So I've set it to 2048 pixels. The final section here is to the output folder. And essentially what we will do is select this and choose a folder on the computer. And then we'll come down here and hit generate. Now there is a note at the bottom that says the amount of layers resulting in a bigger document size may slow down the process. So this under the hood, like Oniric, is doing a lot for you to be able to create either the GIF or the video and create that presentation. So sometimes it may take a little bit longer if there are several layers in the document itself. So this one doesn't have that many layers in it. It shouldn't be that bad. So we're going to go ahead and speed up. I'm going to hit generate. It's like the folder that I wanted to go to first and then hit generate. And we'll be right back with the final GIF presentation of this piece of artwork of Cyberpunk. Okay, so the breakdown's been created. Let's go ahead and double click the file itself, open it up, and let's take a look. There's the original image. There's the background stock. You even get to see it go through the part of blurring it out. You can see the retouch where I added in new hair behind the model. The elements of a New York are being added in. And then there is the landing of the final piece. It should hold there for six seconds. And then I believe it, it will go back to the beginning and restart itself. Yep, there we go. So it's starting up with that first original image and pushing all the way through. This is such a wonderful piece of software, a wonderful extension and plugin for Photoshop to be able to do this and to do it. Honestly, it, it, it generated in less than like 40 seconds. Now, again, there weren't that many layers in that document. So for something that has like a hundred layers, it may take longer, but I guarantee you, I used to be able to make breakdown videos inside of Photoshop by using the actual video timeline inside of Photoshop that was added to it many versions ago. And it, it, it takes forever because you have to move the clips of video and so forth. And you could potentially do it with other things like, you know, Adobe Premiere or, or DaVinci Resolve or whatever else, but to have this software this this extension and plugin from composite nation to be able to have those controls that we saw in the interface and just to create this like that in 40 seconds by the time that i am taking that you know final piece of artwork and preparing the various social media file sizes and cuts and branding it with the logo and so forth i can create this breakdown at the same time and have essentially a, a press kit if you will to be able to market the artwork and to share it like that is such a wonderful time saver. I'm I'm incredibly excited for break gen because now the artwork that I share, whether it be just a simple beauty portrait or a complex composite of, of cyberpunk or fantasy or whatever I do, I can finally be able to create that file and provide it to the audiences that want to learn, that want to see all the various elements that went into it. And hopefully Truly, I mean this, I hope they will be inspired by that. They will not lose the magic of the artwork, but they will believe even more in the magic of it when they see all the elements that are combined to create this final piece. Let's have some final thoughts and we'll finish up this video for today. I'm so excited to start using BreakGen and start creating these presentations to share my artwork and what went into the creation process so that it, folks can see the different elements and layers into it and hopefully be inspired by that to create their own artwork. If you want to pick up your copy of BreakGen and or Oniric, go to compositenation.com. You'll learn more about either one of those programs and get your own copy there. If you'd like to see how I use Oniric, check out the videos on the channel as well as the retouching series. And if you like the content that you found in this video today, Day, make sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. New content comes out each week in photography and Photoshop education. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of that new content when you return to YouTube. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there in the world of Photoshop.